Okay, get him out. Okay. Get him through. Pop it out. Pop it out. There you go. All okay. day. All day. All day. I'm going to tell you right now before you see it. UCLA going to win the NCAA championship and you think I'm playing. Oswald should be number one because he's the only player in the draft that can make everybody else around him better. He's better than Steph Curry to me. LaVar is exploiting his kids. What the hell do you think UCLA is doing? We going to get a billion dollars. Trust and believe that. I've told my boys this. Somebody got to be better than Michael Jordan. Why not you? And Michael Jordan too light in the tail. If he needs help. Mm. To guard me one. You can't guard me no one on one. Barkley don't want to see me. He's too big. He better stay behind them TNT and eat them donuts. Oh. I've always been the same. It's just y'all follow me with cameras now. Let's go! <laughs> All I gotta say uh, uh, is it's about damn time you came to first take. First LeVar take. Ball in the house. Thank you so much for being here with us. Hey, thank you for having you. me. I want to start with you on the comments about LeBron's son not living up to expectations, and you didn't back down on those comments. Were you surprised at how upset he was? Uh, no, because I, like I said, anytime you talk about somebody's kids, people get real touchy. Uh -huh. Okay, that was my opinion on what I felt about it. Somebody asked me a question about that. I just didn't come out and say, well, you know what? I think my boys are going to be better than LeBron James, boys. I don't care what he does with his family. Let him do what he's going to do. But for him to say he warned me and keep words out of my mouth, you're talking to the wrong dude. I'm going to say whatever I want to say, and ain't nobody going to do nothing. Come do something. You don't think it was too personal, though? It wasn't personal. I didn't say his kid was like, oh, man, he sucks. He's not going to be that. I'm just saying, show me a superstar athlete that had a son that was better than him. Or I'm talking about a superstar. I ain't talking about no regular player. Usually doesn't work that it, way. It Usually never works, works that, that way. way. Bobby Bonds is the dad, right. and Barry Bonds is the kid, Ken Griffey Sr., all stars of that, and the superstar is the kid. But in this case, so I understand where you're coming from, and I've defended you a lot uh -huh. on TV recently. Yes, I, I like, like the you, fact Max. That, I thank you. I like the fact that you have a big imagination, <laughs> right, right. and you don't put limits on your kids. You exactly. Want, and now all of a sudden that they've gotten there, now everyone's criticizing you. Somehow they got there somehow. It's not like they did it all by themselves. So I've been defending you. But in this case, if... If someone asks you a question about someone else's kids, isn't uh -huh. the right thing to say whether or not you have a point that that the kid has a lot of potential? In other words, you say nice things about the other guy's kid well, well, who's still a kid. I said I'm not even worried about the boy's 12 years old. Right. Who knows what he's going to do? Make me. But shouldn't uh, somewhere there be how you're rooting for him? Because he's a 12 year old well, kid. I'm, he will hear these quotes. I'm not rooting for him. I don't know him. So I'm not rooting for him. Let his daddy root for him. I root for my son. You root for your son. Sure. Why are those two things mutually exclusive? If they, hey, his son is out there, my son is out there. People going to either talk good or bad about him. But, he, but your son is about to go into the NBA, might win a national championship. Knock wood, I picked no, him he's gonna win this a year, and his kid is 12 years old. Yes, that's why I really don't care about his kid. He got to worry about his own kid. Now, if I say something about your kid, it was my opinion. That's not saying that my word is the final word, but that my word is the final word in my family. But this is the kind of thing where people will say, OK, we I hear this from people and I argue with them. Yeah, we'll give him credit. He does have a big imagination. He did get his kid to a certain place, but he's wrapped up in himself to the point where he doesn't have the perspective that, hey, that's a 12 year old kid. Maybe say something nice or not at all. Well, I'm always going to say something, whether it be nice or, or mean. You can take it how you want it. Now, if you're touchy and you're taking it in a bad way, that's on you. It's in a good way that, hey, make him better than you. And you know what? When he is better than you or whatever, I don't care. This guy's a trick. Y'all finish? Mm -hmm. Y'all finish? Mr. Ball, good seeing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your sons look phenomenal. Lonzo looks like he's going to be special. And nobody's up here questioning mm -hmm. you in terms of what you've done as a father. That's not to be questioned. It's admirable. But I would ask you this question. We heard the comments about Jordan one day. We heard Barkley another mm -hmm. day. You know, I get your point about LeBron and the kids and all of that stuff, even though I agree with LeBron to some degree. Mm -hmm. But my question to you would be, what do you say when people like myself and others listen to your comments and we say, that doesn't seem to be about your kids. It seems to be about you. That your sons, Lonzo is spectacular, mm -hmm. and, and Angelo and LaMelo, they're going to be spe spectacular, it appears. But it appears to be more about you than about them. And you're not thinking about that. 
and how that could potentially have a negative effect on them. What do you say to that? Uh, it's not going to be a negative effect because I feel that everybody has their own opinion. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is I don't have to make it about me. Those are my boys. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, if everybody's looking at Lonzo play, don't worry about me. I'm not even on the court. Mm -hmm. But they say the guy tells me, he says, man, you know what? You're bigger than your son's playing. That's because you're watching the wrong thing. Now, negativity sells. Nobody don't want to hear all this good stuff. No, that's, that's accurate. So Lonzo good as heck. But I got the big mouth. Mm -hmm. So everybody want to quiet me up. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. And they saying I'm making it about me. I don't have to have it. It don't have to be about me. I got everything I want. I'm going to generate this wealth around my boys where he won't be in that 70% where you say, oh, them kids are broke. I'm not doing this for me. I got everything I want. So I'm doing this specifically for my boys. I'm going to build this empire. And mm -hmm. guess what? Folks don't like that. I'm not mad at that but I'm not letting you get away with that. And here's what I mean. Talk to me. You know, probably just as well, if not better than I do, uh -huh. that because of your mouth and because you're going to speak your mind and because you're going to say what you're going to say, even if you're right, you know what people are going to target. They're going to target your boys. And I'm not talking about just basketball because when I spoke on first tape, mm -hmm. the thing that I have a concern about they're still kids. And as a result, your son could be totally innocent of anything. We live in a world of social media. Everybody got a camera. They're going to lie. They're going to speculate. They're going to put out stuff. You can, it could be anything. And your sons could end up being harmed because somebody is targeting you because they don't like your mouth. What do you say to that? What do I say? Uh, that's why you lift weights. You want to harm me? Go ahead. But like I said, it's it's just life. I talk about they gonna they gonna come life. at you like, but they're not gonna come at you like yes. that. Yes, they ain't gonna come at me like that. And, and this is what I tell my boy: whatever I say is what I say. Two things that's going on right here. I know what my boy's about, and he knows what I'm about, and we ain't scared of nothing. So if you want to come at me or my boys, we will be prepared. So I'm not worried about that. My son know how I am. I'm, I'm saying you but, don't. But, but, but you're, I'm not talking about. I mean, I mean obviously the media. I'm, 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 I'm just I'm saying. I'm talking about you know blogosphere. It, it, people in the street. You, you don't worry you about want. any of that. Heck no. no I'm, I'm talking. I'm literally talking about people like I'm talking about people lying. I'm talking about hey. people trying to set your sons up. Yes. I'm talking about people trying to do anything. You don't worry yes. about that. No, because I know what my son's about. I know what I'm about. So if people come in here and say, "Oh, Lavar's this, Lavar's that," my boy know what I'm about. So you can say what you want. It's always going to be people. It's just like people used to say. You know, I'm big and they. Oh, LeVar is this, LeVar is that. You can say whatever I am, just don't touch me. So just to be clear, just to be clear, your attitude is you're marketing your sons. This is what you do. This is how you are. You're not going to make sure they're one of the 70 percent, which is the number you just threw out there. Right. This is what it is. And you're going to be unapologetic about that. I ain't clear. apologizing about nothing. I don't okay. I don't I don't live that way. I don't have to apologize about nothing because I don't do nothing. I regret. OK. All right. Now let's go to something you should regret. You know what? You're you, 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 you going to beat Michael Jordan. You, you taking one on one? Really? Michael Jordan? Really? I'm just saying, you no, would take wait, Michael wait, Jordan wait, one on one. Like wait, I told wait, you, wait, you, wait, you, wait, know wait, no, you know better than that. No, you know better than that. Gentlemen, 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 neither of you listen. Let's take a timeout. You we'll take a timeout. Time we got some questions. Who's we'll the timeout? I already know what timeout is. You're going to learn to take. That's what I'm talking about. I got, I got some more questions. All right, we need to get started. Can I get a word in here? You will. You will. I get a word in. Just getting started here. Also, coming up, LeVar, you're sticking around. Appreciate it. Guess what? Even though the shows won't have a live audience, you can come out a meet and greet with Stephen A. Max and I this Friday, March 24th. Now, to find out the location before anyone else, you have to follow our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. Meanwhile, with us now, a face you have become very familiar with, one LeVar Ball. Stephen A., you were starting to ask about MJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got this. I got this. You know, listen. I ain't going to get on. I, I'm not going to be like everybody else and talk about oh, what you did or didn't do when you went college. Forget all of that. Right. What I'm asking you is a simple question. We, we talk about the GOAT here, the greatest of all time, Michael Jordan, and you running your mouth talking about you're going to be the one-on-one. -on -one. Why would you say something so blasphemous? In my heyday, blasphemous. he would need help. Really? He too really? small. His name is big, and y'all like, it was and a 5-on-5. 5 5-on-5 game, he good. One-on-one, -on -one, I'm undefeated. Never lost. Will you stop it? Don't Never apologize on TV. That don't make any sense. 
Listen, Ain't nobody really beating me in heyday one on one. Why you took like you the that? distance one on one. That's exactly. You, you look like you were tired. Hey, let me ask you this, like I tell him. You know, that's why you smiling right did now. Did I win or lose? Right. Did I win or lose? Right. All I care about is the W. I don't you care how I get it. You were tired from dancing, and you talking about you gonna beat Michael Jordan? <laughs> Michael how you Jordan. Do that? How you, you gonna beat me? You know what? I gotta hear how you gonna beat me. Pick your poison. How's he gonna beat me? Why are you saying stuff like this? Tell me how's he gonna beat me. Why are you doing this? Why are you? Is this another marketing tool of yours? Check this out. What? Everybody used to say who was the best, Michael Jordan or who LeBron. Who did you think was the best? They who said, did you think was the best? best? Kobe or LeBron? Who did you think was the best? Guess what the story is now? Who did you who's th- better, LeVar or Michael Jordan? Ain't think about no damn LeVar. Yes, they are. Look at you. Who are we talking about? Ain't nobody think about no LeVar. Me and LeVar. LeVar. Are you good? Lonzo, yes. Not LeVar. Lonzo, Lonzo don't want to see me. I'm too big, too strong. One on one? You know what? I'm going to move on. Five, I'm going to the blasphemy coming out of your mouth. I'm going to move ready for this. You were on record talking about put your son on the Golden State Warriors. Yes. And put Steph Curry on UCLA. Yes. And your son would be, explain how right your son would be better. Right, right now. now. Right, right now. Right now. now. UCLA is. wouldn't be where they at. Steph Curry gonna shoot him out the game. He ain't rebounding and passing that ball. Shoot him out the game? Shoot him out shoot the game. Him out the game. Out the Not game. Not in the game. Soon as they double game. him up, he gonna lose that ball. He too little. Now you put Lonzo on there with all them athletes and running and gunning, hold guess on, what? On. Your, son, your son is that much bigger than, than, than Steph Curry? He bigger than Steph Curry. Steph Curry, what, 6'2"? Steph Curry about 6'3". Okay, Long arms? I let him be 6'4". He's still shorter than my boy. Long arms? Can he jump? Can he run? Not like my boy. Let me tell you something. Oh if you take God. Steph Curry... How do you... How do you, you, you... Something is wrong with you, yes, sir. It I'll doesn't make any sense. I'll tell you what's wrong sense. with you. I keep talking to you. Max, next. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. You go ahead and talk to Max. Well, okay, okay, you go ahead and talk right to Max. Right, well, I don't even understand you right now. This is This is, this this is, is the insane. criticism. Talk to him, Max. This is the criticism, actually, that I hear... For, about you when I am defending you. Yes. Because I'll say, look, lots of athletes had big mouths, including Muhammad Ali, for example, but he backed it up. And the point is, from Stephen A. and others, yes, but that was Ali. It's not Ali's daddy talking. It's right. not, you know, it, those are the checks that Ali had. Ali wrote the checks. He had to cash them himself. You're writing checks. Your yes. boy has to cash. Oh, no, my boys ain't got to touch them checks. I'll write them myself. Don't worry. How? About Easy. No, but what? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you play Who's the UCLA? Are you going to be playing? Uh, listen, you here, but right. you ain't on a court tomorrow. I don't have to be by on the way, court. By the That's way, you ain't going to be on a court tomorrow night to help your son either. You know what? Okay? You ain't going to be there to you help him. You better be there to help Kentucky. Go, when, when he goes to the you NBA next year, Kentucky. you ain't going to be in the NBA court to help I'll your son either. I'll be sitting in the seat watching. LeVar, does anyone in the family ever go to you? Anyone? Go to me and say Cousin, what? uncle, one of your boys, wife, anybody, and say, yes. and say look. I get it. This is the way it's always been, but maybe ease up a little bit. Oh, or is any of your boys go to your dad? Come on, man. Yes, they, yes. They do? Yeah, they come up to me and say, hey, dad, how's this act? You're the greatest of all time. <laughs> and we're going to follow you if you're wrong. Do they? That's what it's they a, say. Yeah. It's, Keep you, on moving. It's always that same see, tune. See, 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 white folks, they, 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 they kids can come and say, dad, you know what? Uh, I think I've had a bad day. Oh, no. Brothers, wait, 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 how you have a bad day and all you're doing is eating and playing ball and, and studying? You don't never have a bad day until you get out there on your own and bring the rent in or something. So you've never heard, maybe never. ease up a little bit ease from up. anyone in the family. If they said ease up, they got to go. Hmm. You know what How's it that? is? You know what it is? I figured you out. You ain't fig- figured me I out. I figured you out, LeVar. See, 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 LeVar Ball, somewhere along the way, plotted and planned all of this, and you're a marketing whiz. This is what you're doing, because you know good and damn well you have no business mentioning your name in the same breath as Michael Jordan. You know your son on at this point ain't on Steph Curry's level. You know too much about basketball. Why are you not on his level? Not, you not, said not, so? Not, not yet. Not yet. You not want yet. him to play one-on-one? Yet. Excuse me? You what, let let me ask you a question. Would your son get money playing one-on-one? No, he's going to play five-on-five. Five. Exactly. So we're, talk, so we're talking about him. Talking about All right, five then. Five. So if you're talking about five-on-five, five, yes. if you're talking about marketing your son yes. and making money by, because your son is so great, then I don't want to hear one-on-one you know come what out I should of your do? mouth. I should one bag up and let everybody else make the money off my son. And when they finish, give him back to me. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. You what? I'm not mad about Ain't that. nobody going to make what I'm the one who made Lonzo. You know why? Because I picked a beautiful wife to make it. Had it all planned out from day one. Well, I can't argue You that. can't argue. I mean, Them I'm are not, not going to argue that. But at the same time, you're not concerned that, again, forget the off-court stuff now because uh-huh. I already brought that up. That's far more serious, and I appreciate your right. answers with that. But on the basketball court, on a lighter level, 
You have put a spotlight on your sons. He put his own spotlight on them. No, 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 no. He's a bad boy. But the point is that he's a bad boy. There's no question. But daddy elevating him the way that you do. You you cutting checks. Your son's going to have to cash his max. No checks. Y'all the one trying to cash. Does it ever, LeVar, does it ever seem to you like everyone's outraged by a lot of people who who kind of aren't in on it with you are outraged by what you're doing. But are you outraged at all, like by the reaction to this in the sense that here you are, you raise your family a certain right. way with certain plans. Let everyone raise their kids the way they do. I'll raise my kids and we'll see how it all shakes right. out. And now that it's shaking out, everyone's shaking their finger at you. Now you have to start doing things differently. Yes. Does that outrage you at all? Outrage me at no, not at one point. I'm going to get me some donuts after this. I'm going to take me a hell of a nap. It ain't going to bother me Sounds at all. Sounds like a good life to me. Yes. Lamar, we're out here in L.A. What impact would Lonzo have on the Lakers because they clearly need some help? Man, Lonzo had that same impact magic had. Oh God! I'm trying to tell you. Uh, yeah, I, I don't impact. even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. You know what I said? It was Jordan, uh, and then it was Barkley, and then it was Curry, like the and, now, and, and, now, and now it's hey. magic. Now it's Where magic. Are you from the East Coast? Anybody else? Stephen A. 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 Magic is running the Lakers, and if Lonzo is available, you wow. better believe he's going to pick him. Wow. That's not the point, Max. Don't change the narrative. This man just opened his mouth. And with these sorry Lakers that we've been subjected to watching okay. in recent memory, this man said, get Lonzo Ball and watch. It's going to be the same as Magic. This is hey, what you said. Hopefully on national television. Twice. It's, it's, It'll it's, be it's, it's, better tell, than that. Tell the truth. How's that? Let me ask you a question. Ask that, me two let questions. me ask you a question. If that's the case, LaVar, if that's the case, yes. LaVar, oh. when you talk about this money that you're going to get for your sons, yes. why is everything about it being up front as opposed to your sons getting on the court and showing everybody they're going to be worth a billion? Hey, who cares, man? Everybody hey, wants to yeah. be a millionaire. I'm, just, I'm talking I about you. I'm not talking billion. about your kid. I'm talking about you. Yes. I'm talking about you. Straight you to you the want the money up front. You I want got the three money beans up front. right here. You want the money it's up gonna front. It's going to cost some money. You want the money up front up because front. you don't know. You know why? Because we ain't running the same route everybody else. I'm about to shake some heads right here, boy. We're going to set a ripple effect. Trust and believe that. When it all happens, I know what you're going to say, Stephen A. I'm going to invite you to the house and make you some pancakes with strawberries. And you're going to say, this is the best cook I've ever seen in my life. I'll take that up. I know you and will. I, I'll show up for the pancakes and strawberries. show up for the pancakes. I know I've been saying you know it's the strawberries. All you're going to hear is one that. song. I will do I that. I don't know how LeVar did this. Oh, Lord. But he is <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> Oh. It's going to be beautiful, trust me. I think me. you met your match, Stephen A. I don't have anything to say. I mean, we better yeah. hope that, that, that... Well, first of all, I'm we not... We better re- hope he's as good as Magic, because then we get this act well, for well, the next well, 15 well, years. Well, yes. first of all, well, first of all, I'm not rooting okay. against his sons. That's number right. one. Yes. Yep. Number two, I do appreciate the job that you have done as a black man with your children, and I thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Third, and more importantly, I really, really hope that they're everything you say they are. Yes. I'm concerned that your mouth might get in their way, though. My I'm, mouth I'm concerned. Is covering I'm concerned. all that. Because check this out. While my son is over there whooping that tail, all y'all worried about what the big baller going to say next. No, we ain't going to worry about that. Oh, yes, you are. If your son's backing it up, we don't have to worry about it. I don't care it. about him backing it up. He, not. he ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody around here. He proved it to himself. Like I always told him, don't play for me, your mama, or anybody around you. If you really? want to be the best really? player ever, really, really, do Look, it hold for hold you. Hold 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 I got a question. You for told them, don't worry Since about you. Since it was you. babies, you told them, don't worry about you. Since they was babies, you told them, don't worry about you. Don't worry no, about me. Ignore Daddy Lavar. Yes. Really? They You're not lying. Ignoring me. You're lying. You know good and well. I need they them. Have to worry I don't about push you all the time. I need them. All you gotta do is listen. You ain't push him. You just let him. Never push him. That's resistance. Whatever. Whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm, scared, I'm scared of what would have happened today. If they didn't play basketball consistent. based on His what philosophy you're is perfectly Ron, consistent. Stop, stop it. You might disagree with me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Can y'all be quiet so I can hear this lady talk? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now he running the show. You mentioned Magic Johnson, but who do you really compare Lonzo to as a player, if anybody in the league right now, in terms of his game? Uh, Nobody. Because Alonzo takes a little bit of everybody. Like I told him. Or even who does he before, take a little bit of? I said, you know, I said Alonzo was magic with a jump shot. What I mean by that is everybody wants to play with him. Mm-hmm. The winning, the running, the long passes. Because, uh, you know, they try to compare him to Jason Kidd. But if you look at it, he's more like Penny Hardaway. Mm-hmm. Size, really? length, style. But 
It's not, not the greatest thing. example in the world. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I prime. love Penny. Penny, Penny was, prime was a bad wait, boy. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Penny's skill set was big time. Right. But Penny in big moments against the monsters of the game. We never said about big moments, though. Well, that's what you're talking about. He's got a big moment oh, yes. tomorrow. Oh, hey. Oh, you talking about moments It's the same moment for him all the time. Like I told I thought LeVar Ball talks about big moments always. entertainment. That's all basketball is. Instead of going to the movies, guess what? Go watch the ball boys play. Damn it, you worked. You tomorrow. worked. You worked. Memphis, you worked. You I will not there. miss Lonzo. Well, I will don't be watching him tomorrow night. Okay. Ooh, I like ooh, him ooh, more ooh, now ooh, than ooh, I did before oh, he oh, showed up on something. the set. I already liked him. Don't, he, he better show up tomorrow night. Uh, don't let me. Uh, I'm going to be hey, looking for you. You won't have to look for me. You I'll better find show you. up tomorrow night. That's all I'm going to say. I'll find you. Ooh, I have to go ooh. on the East Coast and look for you because they know who you are. All right. Okay. I know they know me. Yes. I know they know me. Uh, All right. Okay. Hey, you know what LA stands for, right? What? LeVar's awesome. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now you know where you're at. Not Lonzo? Lonzo's or Lamelo? Yeah, How did you get away with all those names, by the oh, way? Oh, man, because I, 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 I love those L's. But see, like, see when, you, when you're in a neighborhood of Chino Hills and you mixed, it's easier for me to pick them up from school. Mm. When you find out, say, hey, that boy's name is Lamelo. Ain't no white kid's name Lamelo or I got Lamello it, man. Angela. I got it. We got to go. Well, we gotta go, but I'm coming back so to you. Good. I'm not hard to find. Yes. Mello, you better ball. I'm not yes. hard to find. Yes. Give it up for LeVar Ball. We appreciate it. Ah. We'll that game tomorrow.